All right, so let's get to the actual preparation of the soil. We're gonna, as you can see, the, the, the bed is kind of drawn after the micro tractor came. We just defined where the bed would be. And now we're spreading rock dust. It's a mix of rock dust and sugarcane ashes, actually. There are many kinds of rock dust. Um, it really depends on where you are and the the type that you're going to choose to use if you want depends on your on on your soil actually um, ashes is always good sugarcane ash is uh, very rich in potassium and and calcium and other minerals wood ash has usually less potas potassium than sugarcane but it's just as good and so after these fertilizers, you could also use lime. Um, here we're not using because th this rock dust substitutes lime. And now let's go to the manure. We've got a mix of horse, cow and chicken manure that we're using. But really the, the best manure is the one that you have available. You can use any, any type of manure and obviously it might change in quantities. All right, so let's start really, um, let's start to finish the soil preparation. So I've got this hole, you can see it's um, uh, narrow, but right, it's not, it's not very wide. Um, and we really want to dig in a way to reach the up to 30 centimeters. So we've got a special way to do this, in which I'm gonna pull the, the surface layer of the earth and I'm going to dig in underneath it to make sure I've got a good um, depth and then I'm going to pull back the superficial layer of the next spot and again I'm going to deep dig deep down If you don't have access to a micro tractor, you can really do this from the beginning. Obviously the earth, the soil is not going to be as easy to work, but you can definitely do it. Okay, so we've incorporated the ash and the rock dust. We've really dug it deep. We've taken it down to 30 centimeters deep. So Felipe, what can you tell us about the importance of this ash and this rock dust? All right, um, so this rock dust for us here in, in the tropical soils, which are usually very acidic, um, is a great tool for recovering the soil, right? Because um, it's got a lot of calcium and magnesium just like lime but uh, you know not as much as but apart from that it's got lots of micronutrients and this specific rock dust has a lot of potassium as well it has very little phosphorus but the manure we're going to use has a lot of phosphorus so it's, it's going to supply that and the ashes are also very rich in everything because ashes are basically everything the plant absorbs except for nitrogen and usually it loses a bit of sulfur as well and carbon and hydrogen which really go up to the air once um, the wood or the rest of the sugarcane is burnt but apart from that all the rest is here so it's really a great tool to give a nice pump a good start to the soil and a good start to the plant so that we can start producing organic matter here yeah really really rich in potassium and uh Basically, it's, it's, it's what we have, so it's, it's what we have locally, you know, this uh, big sugarcane industry nearby, so they burn it and we, we buy it for organic uh, use, the, the ash. 
we're we're going to be working now with, with the manure really we've we've gone ahead and for years we've been buying manure we've been buying chicken manure in we've been bringing it in for the first you know when when we started planting here in Tito de Jazz but now we're, we're in a situation where we have our chickens we have our cows we have our horses so we're really using what we have here so this manure here a great part of it is is chicken manure and cow manure with a little sprinkle of the horse manure to give it the extra little volume we need to, to to get the, the full effect so right now we're going to be spreading this manure on top of this bed and at this stage we're really going to be just shaping it we're just going to be shaping the bed we've done all the you know the airing we've gone deep we've, we've decompacted it 30 centimeters uh, now we're just going to put the manure on top and we're really going to shape it we really want this manure to to reach the roots of that veg, that first root of that, you know, of the, of the ceilings of, of the, the trees. Even though we're gonna throw manure deep into the, in the holes where we're gonna, the, the beds that we're gonna make for, for the tree ceilings, we're also gonna have it, a thin layer of it on the top here to just to reach that, the, those first few crops we're gonna have here, you know, the corn and, and all of that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead now, we're gonna be spreading this manure and shaping it, you know, the concave like we've been talking about and all the principles. Exactly. Just to give you an idea of how much of this input we're using, um, obviously everything, every every fertilizer that you're going to use, the amount you should use depends on what your soil looks like. But we're using up to five tons of rock dust with um, sugarcane ashes and up to 100 cubic meters of manure. In the first time we're planting an area, or obviously after we're We've planted it once and we're replanting it. When we work with agroforestry systems, the tendency is to go down and use less and less and less. You input. know that theory, we put one now and we put 0.8 tomorrow and then the next time we put 0.5. Every time we use less manure, and we use more of the matter, internal matter. Exactly. So all right, let's get to the manure. That's the best part, really it's the manure, isn't it? All right. So now that we've dug our bed and we have incorporated rock dust and ashes and we have spread the manure on top of the bed we're gonna build and form that concave shape that we've talked about and as I do it I'm going to incorporate superficially the manure so our bed is 19 centimeters wide of course this can vary but we recommend that the bed has at least 70 centimeters from 70 centimeters to 1 meter 10 more than that makes it hard to reach the middle of the bed and you would you would want to take a step you, you'd want to step over you know you really want to be able to step over and not and not step on the bed. Exactly. So now I'm really going to make a concave shape, as you can see. This is going to make sure that all the nutrients, all that rich water that's gonna fall on the bed and start to leach all the minerals all the elements really comes to the center and and stays here right we don't lose it because the convex shape loses resources the concave shape keeps resources it draws resources to the bed. All right, so we have a nice concave bed, and now we're going to cover it with organic matter. And it's going to be ready to plant. 
Okay, so now that the bed is ready, we're gonna make a nice two to three centimeters thick layer of organic matter. What we're using here is a mixture of horse manure with um, the, the shredded pruning of trees and a bit of, of shredded grass as well, right? This is the bed of the horses actually. So tell us how you make this. Yeah, well this is the bed of the horses. Uh, here we use the shredded wood for the bed of the horses as, as we showed you in previous modules. But you know, you really can cover it with many different materials. Being organic mat matter, that's what matters really most. Uh, we can use, you know, grass and all sorts of organic matter shredded. But I really found that uh, the horse manure with, with the shredded wood really makes it bloom, you know, it really make, gives it the extra power. So it's not just organic matter with just shredded wood, as most people do around here. It's got the extra cream from the horses. And you know, it's, it's what we have here. So it's from what we have, this is the best material to cover. Okay, you notice that we're not mixing it in. It really is just a covering, you know, the whole principles of, of, of giving the shade to the soil. Yeah, and it's really important to thoroughly cover the whole bed. Um, the board is included. And we're really gonna cover everything, including the pathways. Maybe we're not gonna cover the path with this material but with cut grass, it can be a, a rougher material, but this for the beds is really special. You know, the borders, you really gotta give it an extra, an extra, an extra matter here because it's got the tendency to, to fall off the edges. So really give it a nice, rich, you know, amount of matter on the borders there. All right, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, this part of the bed is ready. Um, this one is really ready to plant. Um, all the beds are going to be prepared like this. The exception is that the tree rows are going to have the, the nests for the seedlings to be planted. But other than that, all of them are the same. So this is it. This is a perfect bed, concave bed. Really perfect for our seedlings and seeds to come. So I think that's it. And for the next lesson, we'll see you soon.